Hi, it's Lata Brouwer and you are now watching Violin Lounge TV, where you learn to improve your violin playing with joy. In this episode, I'm going to answer a question from one of our viewers. Hello, my name is Genesis and I play viola. I've seen many of your videos and was wondering if you can make a video about how to prevent from squeaking while playing. P.S. I've been playing for about seven months. Um, well, Genesis, thank you for your great question. There are probably lots of people who are struggling with this. Um, you've been playing for seven months, so probably you have to uh, still a lot of bowing technique to develop. Um, the main uh, cause of squeaking, and what I mean by that is, and I hope that's also what you mean in your question, is this. This kind of sounds, which you don't want. <laughs> um, the problem is that um, it's a combination of too much pressure and uh, too little speed. So for example, if you do exactly the same as this, but you use a lot of bow, then you don't get it. If you do exactly the same like this, but you don't push the bow so much, then you get with the same tempo, no squeaks. So the solution to your uh, problem is um, uh, that you should use or the same pressure and more uh, speed or uh, the same uh, speed b uh, but less pressure. Okay, then I will also uh, tell you something about two things lots of beginner players um, do uh, wrong is that um, uh, the first thing is that uh, they start bowing like uh, they would drive a car for 10 meters for example then you accelerate and then you slowly stop on the bow that means that there is a point with the bow change that you don't have enough speed for your pressure so lots of people speed up then it goes all right and if they go to the up bow so most of the times when beginner players squeak, then uh, uh, it's at a bow change. And that's because you should be on speed right away. So it shouldn't be like this, but it should be right on right speed and pressure. And then you uh, make the bow uh, change. This means that you have to keep the pressure and speed constant, even if you're bowing up bow and down bow, as we uh, usually do. <laughs> um, so try to keep that speed all the time. So it goes more like this than like, like that. Uh, then you won't have these squeaking sounds at the bow changes. Then the second thing a lot of beginners do wrong is that to avoid these squeaking sounds, they play with very little pressure all the time. And they kind of pet uh, the string with the bow. Um, so they don't get the squeaking sounds, uh, uh, something uh, like this. And okay, you don't have that squeaking sound, but you don't have a nice intense tone. So to have an intense tone, you should be just playing at that edge of that it, that it squeaks. Um, so that you have some pressure, that you hold back the speed of the bow. So don't just wipe over the string like because then you also get these uh, whistling uh, tones um, and it doesn't make a nice tone so uh, don't be afraid to um, it's a matter of of dosing your uh, speed and your pressure the combination of that um, so don't try to solve that squeaking sound with just wiping over the bow because then your sounds won't be good which is kind of as bad as uh, the squeaking sound uh, so then you have replaced one problem by another uh, so really practice on dosing this um, this pressure and speed and keep it constant uh, only change it to color tone and um, uh, for musical purposes and not for 
um, avoiding problems pur purposes, if you know what, uh, what I mean by that. I hope I've answered your question. If you are watching this video and you like this video, then please like it and share it with your friends. If you'd like to receive more valuable and actionable violin tutorials, then please subscribe at my website violinlounge.com and you can receive two free gifts from me. Thank you for watching Violin Lounge TV. Bye bye. Join me in the free workshop Weight versus Pressure where I teach you to play the violin effortless with a beautiful tone. Go to www.violinlounge.com slash free hyphen workshop to get direct access to this workshop. I'm sure it will be worth it.